Howdy, AP pre -cal. It's Ms. Kosh. Today, I want to take, um, I put this together a few years back where it's just solving trig equations, and I had videos where I solved these equations, and then I just put them into one page for the worksheet. What I wanted to do is I wanted to solve, I wanted to turn a couple of them into inequalities. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I already have videos on how to solve these six problems. Um, yeah, I'll go verify or maybe put a link to um, the link to them, but they'd be in my playlist on trig equations. So go look for that. Um, but let's jump in. Let's change this problem to um, be 2 sine of 3 theta minus 1 is greater than 0. And I want us to be on the interval from um, 0 to pi. Okay, so I'm changing that problem so that I can apply what I learned from equations into inequalities. And I will say I've been trying to give to write enough problems to give my students practice, and they are tricky to write. So um, I keep writing these problems, and I'm like, that's gross. I didn't mean to be that mean. You know, like, this is ridiculous. Um, so hopefully these two examples, I'm, I intend to do number four, and then if that takes too long, then I'll do number five in a separate video, but I'm gonna change this to be um, less than one on the interval from zero to two pi. So that's how I'm gonna, those are the two problems that I want to do. We'll see how much I do right now. Okay, um, so with this one, we start with um, just setting this equal, oop, I forgot the end, three theta minus one equals zero. Um, and then I'm gonna solve for sine of three theta, which would equal a positive one half. We know on our unit circle that sine is one half at pi over six and five pi over six. Um, and so we get three theta is equal to pi over six. And I'm gonna write plus two pi k um, on purpose. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm doing. And we also know that it would equal, three theta would equal five pi over six plus two pi k. So to solve for theta, I have to divide everybody by three or multiply by one third. So this is pi over 18, well that's annoying, plus um, 2 pi over 3k, oh dear, um, <laughs> it's a dumb game, y'all, um, equals 5 pi over, I think I played with this on Desmos and saw that it would give me a decent answer and it wasn't so bad, but then I forgot that we're trying to do this without a calculator, and how do you find something smaller than that without a calculator? Um, you cry, okay, <laughs> um, not really, but oh my goodness, okay, so where was I? Um, if we're at pi over 18, and then, okay, so our living inside this world of 0 to pi, I have pi over 18, and then I can add, well, okay, and then I have 5 pi over 18, and those are definitely both less than pi. Then if I add 2 pi over 3, which would be 12 pi over 18, um, this gives me 13 pi over 18, and this would give me this one plus 12, it would be 17 pi over 18, now, if I try to add 12 to this, I'm 25 pi over 18, which is bigger than pi. Did that make sense? Um, so basically, I have these four values that live inside this world. Um, Y'all, <laughs> yay, this is fun, I like this. I mean, I do love math, but this one's annoying. Um, okay, so if I come and put these on a number line, and this is zero, and this is pi, and we have all these different values, pi over 18 would be the first one, five pi over 18, um, 13 pi over 18 and then 17 pi over 18. I don't know, it's closer this way, but I don't know that I care about a scale. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. 17 pi over 18. Okay, so there are my nice little intervals that I need to consider for an inequality. Um, what I might do on this is think, um, well, something between here and here. 13 pi, okay, what's where's pi over? Um, what are the nice ones to work with? Pi over two would be nice to work with. And this would be nine pi over 18. Okay, so that's gonna be in this interval right here. So let's try that. Let's see, if I plug in pi over two, um, then I get two sine of three times pi over two uh, minus one, and I wanna compare that to zero. Okay, so three pi over two, that is here on my unit circle, which is negative one, has a sign of negative one. So negative one times two is negative two, minus one is negative three. Negative three is not bigger than zero. Okay, so this is false. That would give you a false statement right here. Okay, what's something in between these? Um, let's see, if I have pi over, let's see, pi over six, where does that fall? That's three pi over 18. Yes, and that's somewhere in here. Okay, so let's try pi over six. Um, so two sine of three times pi over six minus one. Pi over six times three is pi over two. Sine of pi over two is up here, that's a one. Two times one is one. 
I lied. <laughs> two times one is two, minus one is one. That's where the one was coming from. One is greater than zero, so this is a true statement. Okay, let's see, what's something between um, 13 pi over 18 and 17 pi over 18? I'm sorry, y'all, this is annoying. Um, let's try, what's 15 pi over 18? 15 pi over 18, that reduces, um, three goes in there, five, three goes in there, six. Oh, good, okay, so that's nice. Um, so I can plug in um, two sine of three times, five pi over six is what we decided to use, minus one. Um, this goes in here two times, five pi over two, so it's one pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two, four pi over two, five pi over two, that's a positive one, two times positive one is two, no, minus one is one. Okay, and that is positive. So this region is going to be true. So my hope <laughs> is that it's between these two so that the, my answer here goes from pi over 18 to 5 pi over 18. And then we pick it up again and we go from 13 pi over 18 to 17 pi over 18. Y'all, this is when it, I didn't mean to be this mean and nasty. I mean, I guess it was just a lucky fluke. Um, <laughs> so I would then go to Desmos to check this for sure. I'm assuming, I mean, we can find a number here, and but it's just really gross. Um, because it's hard to do. Um, oh, I forgot to grab a calculator. Because it's hard to do. Oh, dear, what am I doing? Um, okay. Sorry, because it's hard to do Desmos and just do it in this video for you right now, I'm just gonna come over here and grab my calculator. So I wanna see where two sine of three x um, minus one, where this graph is um, greater than zero. Um, it's not as, oh, this is gonna be annoying, you guys. Okay, we're, we can do this, we can do this. Um, if we had Desmos, life would be easier, but I wanna show you anyway. So. Let me do, let me do um, window and then change it to trig. Um, nope, I don't want to do that. I just need to go from zero to pi. So let's go a little bit smaller than zero. So like negative 0.2, I don't know. And then a little bit bigger than pi. So that's 3.14, so 3.5, I don't know. 3.5, so that's going to kind of keep me in the world that I need to live in and not distract me from other stuff. Um, these are probably, nope, not good enough because it's got a, an amplitude of two. So let's go from negative three to positive three. Oh, and we shifted down one. I lied. Okay, so let's go from negative, let's go from negative five to positive three. That should help us see our graph. Okay, so notice it's important to learn how to adjust our graph. So here we go, and we want to see where is it greater than zero? Well, it's here and here. Oh, it's between those, and it's between these. Um, so I'm going to do G solve and find my root. Okay, I have no idea off the top of my head what that means, but I can come back here Take this to run matrix, um, delete, I don't know what all that is. Um, take that x value and compare it to pi over 18. Thank you. Change it to a fraction, hallelujah. Okay, so that's what we wanted. So my hope is that this next one is um, that times five. Oh yes, I know it's five pi over 18. Okay, so let's look for a 0.8726, help me remember, okay, um, yeah. It's on you, not me. You have to remember. <laughs> Let me know if that... Um, so I'm drawing this again. I'm looking G solve my root. I want the second one. And I think... What did I just say? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Doesn't that look right? Um, and so that's that first interval. And I'm going to assume that this next one would be 13 pi over 18. Go check for me. I don't feel like it. And then the other one right here would somewhere be, would be something like 17 pi over 18, which it's definitely smaller than pi. That looks reasonable. Um, so... That was gross, but I've actually written worse. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay, I need a little more practice coming up with good practice problems that are at a reasonable difficulty level. In any case, subscribe, come back, watch more videos, practice, 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 and I'll talk to you later.